G'day Starlow here. A lot of you know how much I love my lure and fly fishing, but like most anglers, I started out with bait and I often happily return to bait fishing. It teaches us so much. I'm doing something here that I haven't done in many, many years, and that is fishing a live prawn. It's a deadly way to catch fish. I'm actually gonna run it under a little float that I made quite a few years ago. It's a, a popping cork style of float. I made it out of balsa with a bit of weight in the bottom of it. It's got a slightly cupped face so that it'll, I can actually pop it on the surface and I've got it running up to a stopper. I've got it set about 1.5, 1.6 meters deep and I've got these prawns that I caught last night. I'm going to hook one. Look at that. How good does that look? And we'll fish it on one of these snags up here. You wouldn't think too many fish could say no to that. Fog just lifting off the water. Sun's only just about to clear the horizon there behind me. All right, I'm going to lob this in there. Not too close to cover to start with. And just let it drift up towards the snags. Oh, there's a bite, straight away. Got him. Oh, it's a good fish too. It's a good fish. Oh, oh pulled out. Oh, that was a solid fish. Ah, damn. All right, looks like this is gonna work. With slightly shaking hands, I grab another live prawn out of the bucket and bait up again. Full of expectation, I lob it back in there. How long do you reckon I'll have to wait this time for that float to dip under? <laughs> I better check that drag too. Bite. Got him. Oh, it's another heavy fish. What are these? <sighs> it's not as big as the first one. I'm going to call it for an estuary perch. How effective are live prawns? Yep, it's an estuary perch. I'll just move the boat out because I don't want to spook these fish. There might be a few here. I'm striking quick because I don't want to deep hook these fish. That is the one drawback with bait. Oh, it's a nice perch. I need the net for this guy. Oh, he's just beautifully lip-hooked. There we go. Talk about proof of concept. <laughs> two casts, two hookups. One landed. Oh, I love estuary perch. That's actually the first one I've ever caught on bait. <laughs> Believe it or not. And there's the hook. Just right through his lip. I'm actually going to pop him in the live well. I will let him go, but I don't want to release him right here where I'm catching them, because I do find that that can spook them sometimes. Aren't they a gorgeous fish? So similar to a bass, but quite a few differences as well. I'll grab another prawn out of my container here. I've just got them in a bucket with some salt water and an aerator running. weed in there to keep them happy and they're nice and lively as you can probably hear if you want them to stay alive it's best to just pin them once through the body all right let's try that he's flicking nicely this one Might get a big one. What a gorgeous time of the morning. It's warm too, it's lovely. I'm here in late February and uh, it's forecast to be well over 30 degrees today. It's only about 17 or 18 at the moment, it's very pleasant. All right, 
lob my popping cork in there. Let it drift up towards the snags. And it's gone, and I've got him. Oh, oh, this is a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish, and he's going for the snag. Oh, I pulled the hook. Had to just give him heaps because he was headed into the snag. Broke off. He found the snag. I did feel it. Damn. Oh yeah, he's chafed it up really badly. Whew, this is pretty effective. Nothing for it but to tie another 1-0 hook to the end of my 10 pound leader and bait up again. My hands are shaking even more now. It's a nice lively one. Oh yeah. I don't think they'll say no to that. See if they'll come out for it. Oh yes, got him. Whack that. Oh no, don't go back in there. No, 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 no. Oh, it's such bad country in there. This is a good fish. Oh, I want to stay connected to this one. This fish is actually pulling the bow of the boat towards the snag, so I hit the motor guide remote control to steer us back around away from trouble. I haven't had a clear look at him yet, but he's going really well. Oh. Got to be a good fish. Oh, it's a big perch. <laughs> oh, I think that one that did me in the snags was in this sort of league. <laughs> nice fish. Gee, they pull hard. <laughs> and that is a cracking estuary perch. And again, my fast striking. He's just pinned him right in the corner of the mouth. He'd be getting up around that 40, 41 centimetre mark, I reckon. <gasps> what a lovely fish. I'm going to put him in the well too, but I need to realise that now I have my bag limit in the well, even though I don't intend keeping them. It's something worth bearing in mind. The New South Wales combined bag limit on perch and bass is two fish per angler per day. In fact, I'm going to pull that other one out and let it go because you're only allowed one over 35. And this other one might be pretty close to 35. There he is. Off you go, mate. Too much fun. Get the live prawn in there. Drift it up towards the snag. Oop, there we go, bites. <laughs> I might have struck a bit too quick. Like I said, I'm striking fast so that I don't hook these fish deeply. I reckon he might have got my bait. Sure did. I'll get another prawn on. Another little kicker in here. Alright, sun's getting up, it'll be interesting to see if they go off.
tighten that drag a couple more clicks too. Ooh, I can't believe how hard that fish went. You can see it's a beautiful snag I'm fishing, but there's plenty along here. Bait flipping in there. I reckon that one hit the spot. Yeah, it sure did. The livelier they are, the quicker they get eaten. Oh. Now, I love my lure and fly fishing, but it doesn't hurt to come back to the fundamentals of bait every now and again. It teaches you a lot about the fish that we hunt. Another beautiful estuary perch. We're all just lip hooked, which is exactly what I wanted. The barramundi of the south, look at that. Such a great looking fish. Let me get that morning sun on it for you. Look at that mouth. Mm -hmm. You could use a much bigger hook, but these are suiting the prawns that I'm using. I'm going to pop this one straight back in out here. Mm. All right, let's get another prawn out. Just for a bit of a comparison, I'm going to try a dead prawn, one of the ones that died overnight. Still just going to hook it lightly through the back. It'll be interesting to see if they're as keen on the fresh dead ones as they are on the live ones. Tighten the drag a bit more and wait. I can give it a bit of action just by bouncing the float a little bit. Might make it look like a live one. It's interesting, it's drifted into the zone and hasn't been taken yet. <laughs> Something about those live ones, isn't there? Just popping the, the float a little bit to give it some action. Ooh, has it gone down? Oh, it's snagged. Not wanting to lose my handmade float, I went in to recover the rig. And while I was in there, I had a couple of short range casts back into the heart of the snag, but without result. Suspecting that the rising sun was putting the fish down, I decided to move to another part of the river. All right, found some snags that are still shaded from the rising sun. See if there's anyone home. down. I don't think this one's a perch. Oh, it's a tailor. <laughs> Probably bite me off. Whoa! <laughs> Everything likes a prawn. <laughs> Didn't bite me off because I was able to pin him with that really fast strike. If he's 30 centimetres, he might be my breakfast. Oh, he sure is. He's like 32. Don't mind a really fresh tailor for breakfast. I'm not a huge fan of tailor as a table fish, but um, that will be quite nice. Hmm. 
Well, that wasn't really what I was targeting. I was running a bit low on live prawns now too. I'd only kept a dozen or so to avoid overcrowding in the bucket. This time, this doesn't feel like a tailor. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not sure it's a perch either. No, it's a brim. <laughs> I thought we'd get a couple of brim. Not a bad one either. There we go. Lovely silvery yellowfin brim. You can see how I'm just pinning them right through the lip by striking straight away. As soon as that float goes down, I'm not giving it any time at all. Alright, off you go mate. Still a couple of prawns left to use before I head home, and how good does that bank look? Oop, there's a bite. Gone. Got him. <clears throat> I'll call this for another brim. This is probably much more brim country than perch. Yep. Not one fish hooked deep yet, all right in the corner of the mouth or through the around the jawbone. And that's all because I'm striking quickly. Sure, you'll miss the odd fish, but I'd rather do that than hook them deep. I decided to knock off on a high and took this opportunity to also release my big perch from earlier. It had been a thrilling little session. It's certainly not something I'd choose to do every day. I still much prefer my lure and fly fishing, but we really shouldn't look down our noses at bait fishers. Most of us learnt our craft that way, and it still has plenty to teach all of us. Fishing live baits with tools like popping corks and electric motors is a fun, active approach. And so long as we all do the right thing, there's room in the fishing world for every legal, ethical technique. Each to their own, I reckon. Until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines.